Mishmak of Magan people, it is time for another donated episode from Mr. Chuck Charles Mashroom. And uh, he wanted me to, to um, sword with Age of Winters versus uh, Orange Goblin, a eulogy for the damned. Now, I'm aware of both these bands. But I never really checked out their stuff. I think, I'm pretty sure I heard Orange Goblin. Uh, my friend Paul, is, I believe he played me one of their albums. And definitely wasn't this album. But what I did hear, I enjoyed quite a bit. And uh, this one, I enjoyed even more. Now, The Sword, uh, yeah, I never really looked into them. Though I have heard of a thing here and there. I remember seeing one of their videos. And I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. But you know what I do love? This band from the 80s called The Sword. They released two albums. Metal Eyes and Sweet Dreams. And this is more my alley. This is traditional metal. Like at its finest. You want to talk about an underrated band. They only have two albums, and my friend just told me today that they may be releasing something again. Uh, they mentioned it years ago, so they don't know it's going to happen. Said it was coming out on Combat Records, so we'll see how that uh, turns out. I hope it happens, because this band is awesome. But we're talking about The Sword, not just Sword. Um, so, the first song is... Uh, the sword came out first. I'll go with them first. Um, Celest Celestial Crown, which is, you know, just an intro. Not bad. And that's going against Red Tide, Rise Red Tide Rising. Holy shit, was this good. I was like, damn. This freaking rocks. Win. All right, the next one is called Burial's Blade. And yeah, it's okay. It's 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 not bad at all. You know, I'm not. I don't think this band of sword sucks. They ain't sword, but you know. But that's my personal taste. I know some of you that are big the sword fans will probably go back and listen to the superior uh, traditional metal band called Sword, going that sucks. But I don't think the sword sucks. I just think sword is way better. Um, it's stoner rock, and uh, it's okay. It's no Caius, though I hear, you know, Caius vibe to this band. And that's going against Stand For Something. Way more my speed. I mean, you know, the first song, which I love, Red Tide Rising, has kind of like a stoner vibe. This one really doesn't. It's more straightforward, hard rocking, kick-ass shit that gets another point. All right, next one is called Free Ya. Uh, I like this one. This one has a really cool riff and a vibe, and I, I totally dig this song. And that's going against uh, Acid Trail, which I dig this one more. Killer song, man. I'm really digging this Orange Goblin there, Chuck Charles Manson. Good stuff, brother. By the way, Chuck Charles Manson got me into The Clash, which I never liked The Clash. And because of him, I, I'm obsessed with The Clash now. Well... Up to half of Sandinista, you know, after that. But Give Them Rope, especially. That's my favorite Clash album. But the first one's awesome. And London Con is what Chuck Charles got me into. And got me, you know, now into the Clash big time. Even though they, they put an iced tea in Jack Daniels bottles. According to the greatest front man ever. All right. Um, I'm definitely giving it to Acid Trail. The next one's called Winter Wolves. And so far, this is the best one I've heard so far on this record. It smokes. Good tune. Uh, going against The Filthy and The Few. And this is the best one so far I've heard off this album. And, uh, and they're superior. Yes, I think Orange Goblin is a better band. And I think this song is the better song. So another, another point for Orange Goblin. All right. Next. Uh, the Horn uh, Goddess, is it? Or did I write it wrong? Um, this is not bad. You know, I, I, I've heard much better. Caius, 
but it's not bad. Going against Save Me From, my, from Myself. I love the light and shade vocals this dude does on this song. And it wins. It's a great song overall. Next one, Iron, Iron Swan. Uh, the, big, the beginning kind of worried me a bit. I was like, eh. But man, what it goes into. It's badass, man. I mean, it crushes. It's a badass tune. And that's going against uh, The Fog. Uh, you know what? I thought this was going to lose by the beginning of this one. But I was wrong. It fucking smokes. The Fog is even better than Iron Swan, and they're both excellent songs. All right, the next one is called Lament for the... I don't know if I spelled this right. Ar Archer? Archers? Archers? I don't know. Um, this one kind of bored me. Didn't care for it. Uh, going against Return to Mars. Uh, this one did not bore me. Not even a little bit. It's awesome. It wins. Uh, next is March of the Lore. Uh, it rocks. It's not bad. I actually dig this song. Uh, going against Death of Aquarius. Uh, this rocks harder. Even though I'm Aquarius. And I'm not dead. But it rocks harder, and it definitely wins. Um, all right. Next is uh, Ebithron. Is that it? Ebithron? Uh, parts of it are whatever, and parts of it kick ass. This one's kind of like a yin and yang, a, a sucking awesome. Uh, going against uh, the Bishop's Wolf. All parts of this song kick ass. It wins. All right. Now, uh, Chuck Charles Merson said, uh, add this song so it could be even because The Sword has nine songs and Orange Goblin got ten. So he wanted me to add this song called Cloak of Feathers. And I got to tell you, this song is better than any song on this album, in my opinion. This song is awesome. I absolutely loved it. And... Uh, that's going against uh, Yulji for the Damp, the, the title track. And uh, this is still better than that song. So I got to say, it's a clean sweep. Orange Goblin got 10. And uh, even though I thought it was a good album, don't get me wrong, the sword was good. But the sword was, I mean, Orange Goblin was way better. So, there you go. Thank you, Chuck Charles Wormson, for the donation. And if you'd like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. And ring that little notification bell. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gobba. Bang, bang, pizza skulls.